Pastor, um, how much of an impact did it make in the last game that when Sabir was not out there with you guys down the stretch, or for the whole game, really? Um, that really hurt us a little bit. Um, but I think we we work, we fight, we do fight. You know, we cannot just. Uh, the good thing about this team is everybody willing to fight to help this team. Even if we're missing one person, but we still fight. Uh, but I think we could do better with them in the court. Thanks. 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 I do not really care about who we going against. The fight against uh, the fight is against ourselves. If we learn how we can fight against, we can battle against ourselves. Then it's gonna be easy when we go against somebody else. But road trip it was kind of a little bit tough, but we learning from that. For me, I learned a lot, and uh, my teammates, everybody know how it's like now. You cannot take an easy way out. You gotta go fight. They're not gonna give you anything. Easy out there in a, in a road trip game. So, what did you learn the most? You think yourself? You said you learned things. Uh, for me, like you just gotta stay focused and you gotta finish a fight. You cannot let the rope go, like coach you say. Uh, you gotta fight. You gotta fight until the end. Uh, to fight, we have like we are together. So we gotta learn how we gotta finish. We start good, we, we keep up, we do everything good, but like we got to learn how we got to finish. Like Coach, you say, we got to play to win, not play the game, not to lose. That's We got to just finish. All right, Big Darryl, uh, you and then uh, John Hale. Oh, hold on, Rich, I'm muted, so there. Hold on, Big. There you go. You got me? Yep, go ahead. Okay. Uh, good morning. Uh, I'm wondering, I've seen you now being double and triple teamed when it comes to being blocked out mm -hmm. under the boards as you try to rebound. Right. I'm wondering, first of all, if you've ever encountered that up until now, your reputation, I guess, precedes you. Mm -hmm. and number two, um, you are such a student of the game. You talk about learning and knowing how to rebound. Mm -hmm. What kinds of things have you figured out to try to combat that? Um, from now on, everybody we're going to play, they're not just going to let me go out there and get every basketball rebound. So I just got to keep fighting. So I gotta find a way. I gotta fight without getting fouled because the foul really hurt us the team. Because my teammate they really want me out there and help keep helping. Uh, I gotta just keep fighting. Find the way I cannot get a foul because uh, the team, like I told my teammates, if they put it three people to box me out, that means there's a three yo can go get the ball. It's better for me that those three people stay with me, box me out, then. You guys go get the ball. When they see you guys get the ball, get the ball, get the ball, then the coach is going to tell them, no, now just back you guys out. Now, one person cannot back me out. So I'll go back in the business and work again. So it's up to my teammates. They can help me up. They can, the team is going to back me up. Uh, if they they keep backing me out, my teammates get the ball. The coach is going to tell them, just back you guys out. Then it's going to open up for me. Like in a triple double, if you get in a post up, when the people that double me, I kick it out. You see, they move the ball, move the ball, trees, move the ball, move the ball, trees. Long we making those, and the coach is gonna be like, do not trap no more. Just and I'll go back to work again, like one on one, you make it easy again. John Hale. Oscar, how would you describe what Jacob did the other day and with his athleticism and some of these crazy dunks and, and layups he makes? How do you all see that in practice every day, I guess? Uh, we see that every day in the practice. Uh, Jacob is a great player. Jacob is type of person who always fighting, even in the practice. Uh, to see what he did in the last game, that's what we want from everybody. That's what we want everybody to do. 
So I'm proud of him, and I see him working. I see him get some shut up, like um, do a lot of different things. Jacob is one of the, the players who's going to help us a lot this year, too. John Malone, uh, you got next, and Jerry, I'll follow back up with you. Oscar, even before this last game, uh, Coach Cal Perry was talking about your ball handling. What aspect of your ball handling do you think you need to to improve on? Um, I think just like uh, just keep getting better. Ball handling, like uh, you know, when you dribble up. You gotta make sure you don't lose the ball. Um, like sometimes I get it like a steal. He want me to make sure like uh, when I'm dribbling up in the court, I don't. He don't want me to lose. Like last game we play, like uh, I was dribble up in the court and I make it like entry pass. I do ton of it. So something like that is it. That's the ball handling. I gotta keep getting better on. No, you gotta dribble not to turn the ball over. Gary Tippin, back to you. Yeah, Oscar, one more thing about rebounding. Right. When did you, how old were you when you first started playing? What did you think about rebounding then? When did it become something that was this important to you? Um, I started playing basketball basically when I was like 15. Um, so I play by I play soccer. I was a goalie, you know. You gotta catch everything. You cannot let it. You gotta fly for everything, you know. Somebody kick the ball. You gotta defend. They better not score. They better not do that. You gotta jump. You gotta do the best you can. Like you gotta find the ball. So I think that really helped me too when it came to the basketball. So every time somebody shoot the ball, my mind is the, it's like I'm on a goalie. Like I don't want anybody to score. I don't want to like my. So long I touch the ball is on my hands, and that's, I feel like I'm like goal, like the goal is protected. So for basketball, um, this what I done in the soccer as a goalie, it really helped me up here too in the basketball. So my eyes is always trying to find the ball and go get it all the time. And I, and I wondered too if uh, you had a mentor, if anyone like tried to help you with technique in rebounding or positioning, anything like that? How did you develop that? I never develop. I just want, like, go get the ball every time. And um, I think a lot, most of the time. Um, I went to West Virginia. Bob Huggins, he really helped me, too, for rebound. He was, like, uh, most of the time, if they shoot the ball, you got to go opposite side. So I learned from that, too. That helped me. Like, uh, you don't go opposite side, you're going to run in the practice. You don't go opposite side in the game, we're going to run in the practice. That really helped me, too. And he, you got to stop watching the ball. Most of the people, when somebody shoot the ball, they're watching the ball. No, you got to go position yourself in a place where you might get the ball. And just, and you got to, you got to, soon you position right there. Don't let anybody move you out. Just stuck right there. Basketball, and you're gonna see when somebody shoot it, and you're gonna see if it's gonna go back where the ball came from, or it's gonna go opposite, or it's gonna bounce up and down. Like it is something like it is up here. You think yourself, you see, I got this ball. I don't care how many people are here, but like the one of the people make a lot of difficult is when they try to tip the ball, poop, tip the ball. Uh, they make it a little bit difficult, but like as they fight and can get the ball. I feel like I can get the ball. Nobody can stop me in the country from getting a rebound. John Hale, back to you and then Larry Vaughn. Oscar, I know, like you said earlier, you guys are focused mainly on yourselves. Mm -hmm. But is there some sense that you guys are getting a little antsy to, to beat a ranked team to prove yourselves against another top 25 team too? Absolutely. We've been working on uh, – one thing I will say, we struggle a little bit to finish a game. But like it is not a big deal for Coach Carr. He knows he's been in business for a long time. So we've been working on the last couple uh, last minutes to finish a game. We start the game good. We keep up the game. We stay in the balance. We keep it. Uh, we know it's a tough game, but like we gotta know how to finish. When uh, for us, when we get to the end of the game, we start like think like we gotta do everything fast. That's the moment for me. I feel like we gotta slow down. 
we got to understand the game, how we got to win the game. We're not playing to try not to lose. We plan to win the game. So I think we've been working on the last, um, this the yesterday practice, today practice. So we're focusing on how we got to finish against tough team. Yeah, I'm just wondering, you, you've got a new teammate on board now, and Shaden Sharp. <laughs> just wonder kind of what you think of Shaden and how hard would it be to bring a new guy in and work him into the team midway of the year? Uh, it's always help, you know. It has always help, you know. Uh, like Coach, you say, they might put him in a game and he bring a lot of good things we didn't have expected, you know. Like, uh, so... For him, like for me, he's walking. He's gonna if if he can help us, he can help us. You cannot you cannot say no to the anything that he can help you. So I'm 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 glad to see him. So like he has not stopped practice yet. He start like he's doing like uh, stuff with uh, athletic trainer to try to make sure he's good and everything ready to go. So I'm proud. I'm glad to see him. So I cannot wait to see what he brings to help us. Thank you. Guys, anything else for Oscar? Don Hale, back to you. Yeah, Oscar, on the play where Xavier got hurt, did you call out the screen? What exactly is your responsibility in that situation? Um, I would take a responsibility for what I screamed. That Jimmy was crazy loud. I was behind the screaming, screaming for screen. Could not hear me. So um, what coach told me, make, maybe next time just go up there. Go up there and tell him, scream, scream, because the Jimmy was really loud. I was screaming. He could not hear that. But, like, um, I would take that on me because that was my guy who said this ball screen on him. So, but, like, I'm glad he's good. He's good. Uh, so everything is good for him. So I'm glad.